Good afternoon, I'm Allie Hoxie. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. A new twist in Eastern Michigan University's efforts to put an end to a faculty strike, a judge ruling this morning to deny the school's request for a temporary restraining order. If approved, the filing would have required all staff to return to the classrooms. Professors have been on the picket line since Wednesday over their contractual stall. More than 500 educators are calling for better pay and health benefits. According to a statement by EMU, a hearing has been set for the university University's request for a preliminary injunction that day is Friday, September 16th. Now to abortion rights here in Michigan it is now up to voters to decide whether or not abortion should be a legal practice in our state come November. The Board of State Canvassers has officially certified a petition for a ballot proposal on reproductive health. The board voted four to zero, also making it on the November ballot, what's known as Prop 1. If passed, it would change the term limits for people elected to the Michigan legislature and promote the vote also made it onto the ballot aimed at making voting easier in the state. Well, the stage is set for an historic debate in the state of Michigan for governor. Incumbent Democrat Gretchen Whitmer and Republican nominee Tudor Dixon going head to head October 13th. Both have agreed to debate in Grand Rapids. It will be televised across the state. This matchup marks the first time two women will square off for Michigan's top job in the November election. It is going to be a warm and sunny afternoon, a high of 84, a little more humid overnight, and we continue kind of the higher humidity for Saturday and Sunday. Tomorrow, mid-80s, a chance for a stray shower late in the day, but Sunday, a better chance for rain, highs in the upper 70s, and then occasional rain Monday and Tuesday. Both days are going to be cooler in the low 70s.